I just walked up all the two flights of stairs, but they're bath of stairs, but I just come to the room before Tom and Shelby get here. Oh my God, it's lush. Like, it's like I'm easily pleased, so let me just show you. So like, just literally walked in. What was blurry? Focus, there we go. We've got a cute little old fireplace TV. There's the bed. I love this exposed brick. So nice. And then we've got the car pack out there. There's a card on there. And then we've got an extra window over here. You can see the sea. Didn't even pay for a sea view, but that's beautiful. Look at that. And then Tom and Shelby are walking around somewhere, so I need to go and get them now. But yeah. Rent and touch all. There they are. Cuties. Yeah, it's just a castle viewpoint, not like a camera. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to another video. It is eight o'clock, we are out already, and it's a beautiful morning. I just did a little pan around. And uh, we're on our way to, not fully go in, but go around where Tintagel Castle is, where they've got Arthur and that. It's like an English language <coughs> thing. King Arthur. King Arthur. Um, but we're going to go down to the beach with Shelby and show you Merlin's cave. Sounds dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a dead sea on the beach. Oh uh, yeah. Yes. Oh that's sad. Okay. Make sure you keep him on lead down there then. No, he's eating some blubber stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is the walk down. It's very steep. Walking back up. It's going to be fun. I'll, I'll hold Shelby so you can drag me up. My fucking the amount of like drink I've inhaled into my lungs. I've got like a ten percent capacity now. This is gonna, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> and I haven't got my inhaler on me. Ooh. Great, but oh my god, I can't get over this morning. It's so nice. It's so lovely. And there's like no wind in this specific bit, which is nice. Lovely job, play. Got different colours. I don't know if it's picking it up or not. Can't really see on the screen. But I'm gonna put the camera away because I feel like I'm gonna fall on my face, even though we're going downhill. I just always feel like I'm gonna fall on my face. It doesn't do it justice. But look how Tom's walking. That's how steep it is. <laughs> yeah, look. That do it justice? Not really. No. Bench? No. It's actually a really pretty walk as well. It seems too tame for Spooktober, doesn't it? It's such a nice morning. It sounds pretty with all the water and that. The first splish splash, I was taking a bath. <laughs> there's, if you walk up through that way, it's a bit overgrown at the minute because it's like the end of summer, but there's a car in there and we can't get our heads around how it got there and there was no news or anything, articles. No, it looks like, I don't know if he's gone through the farmer's field and like rolled it or some shit. Yeah. Like, obviously farmers are... Yeah, there's like, there's a church up there, but yeah. it's no, there's no like, drive yeah just a car on his roof in the woods well in that little path there so weird it's proper spooky as well yeah this is like a plane catch this is a mark three golf this is like since like 96 i guess i don't it. know it's just weird yeah look how beautiful this is also i don't know why i did makeup this morning because my eye i don't know if it's gonna show up is running so much already both my eyes are already running so I'm gonna have to redo my makeup later on, but oh well. I don't care. I'm in Cornwall and I'm using my sunglasses to put my hair back because it was really windy up top. Shelby's been a good boy on his lead. Uh, yeah. I haven't run out of things to say. <laughs> so we've got a map here of the uh, Castel Dindajo. Dindajo. So you can go down. So we've just walked down here. Oh no, yeah, well, no, we walked down, that is, that doesn't do it justice, it was way more steep than that. We are there. So, so the ticket way, you go through there and then there's like, you have a ticket office there to go over the spooky bridge, which I hate. And then uh, King Arthur is there. Um, and then we're going to carry on down this way. That you go down past the toilets and stuff. And you go down to the beach and then you've got Merlin's cave there. And then there's a... Um, carving of Merlin's face on one of these rocks. I think he's like there. 
so you got to look out for him when you come down. Yeah, we're going to go down now. Look how stunning! I can't get over this. See a bit of the exposed castle up there. It's a stream that's all grown. It's so colourful. I love it. Down to the sea. And there's the castle up there that we're staying in. And that's where King Arthur's castle is. It's going to be such a magical place and this is all like thriving. Yeah. The mental. Can you imagine like stumbling across this because you would never know it's here? Just like all of a sudden walk down a real steep hill and then it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, but I wonder how tall that was so you might have been able to see it from the village. The village? Yeah, but it would be dark. True. Oh. At well, night? In the, at the night, yes, definitely. <laughs> but in the day, you might be able to see it. All right, we made it down. Just going to go to the cave first because uh, the tide's coming in. The ink in. We see no dead seal yet, so we're just keeping an eye on Shelby. Such a beautiful little beach. It's like a little cove. And then this here is Merlin's cave that allegedly he brought King Arthur through when they arrived in Tintagel. Don't know how much you'll be able to see. But through. Oh, it's a wind tunnel. <laughs> Sorry if it's a bit windy, but um, I don't really want to walk through that seaweed. Maybe Tom will take you through there, but the sea is through there. What? And then if we come over this way. Sorry, I'm trying to be quick because I'm. Well, it's going to be a while till the tide comes in, but yeah, look, it's literally going into the cave now, so just be careful. And then we come out of the cave, turn right, and look here. You'll see the carved face of Merlin. So, yeah, and then the bridge is just up there. I'll show you all up there in a minute, but we just wanted to get down. Um, this bit is a bit, not treacherous, but treacherous. That sounds really exaggerating, but if you're not very good on your feet, just be warned because that's a bit careful. Those steps are fine, obviously. It's just when you get to this bit and then you have to clamber down onto the rocks to get down here. Um, yeah, you have to be careful then. But there's a little waterfall. Waterfall? Jesus, I can't speak. There's a waterfall there. We can't really get to because uh, the tide's coming in. The tide is high, but I'm holding on. And this is a really nice spot to come when it's really stormy and you stand up there. We've stood up on that bit there before when it's been really stormy and the waves have got us. And you think how far down we are. Look how small Tom is, that. And we still got splashed by the waves. Like they were coming in quite, quite high. And also this is a really good spot for a seal spotting. They're usually out swimming around here. But they're probably just waking up. She'll be... <laughs> oh, we should have put some harness on him. Oh well. That one's got fur on it, so it's a bit more absorbent of the water. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at him. He's loving it. I'm going to take some footage on my phone now. For memories. So you see here, there's like loads of seaweed and stuff. And then I'm going to go around this way. Hoping that it's going to be a bit better, easier to get up. I hear a jingly boy following me. There he is. It's very rocky in that, so I don't know how I'm going to deal with this filming. Where are you from? Yeah, true. Yeah, so Tom's going to go, well, which will be that way. That's the way that I came down that bit there. I don't know why he's going up on that bit, I don't think we really need to. But this might be the end of our camera. <laughs> yeah. To the left. We have that little bit on the side so doggies can walk on that. And then watch he skips out that bit. Because <laughs> there's no uh, mesh on there, but. I'm going to put the camera away now. Just wanted to show you this, basically. That's quite a big drop. Not a big drop, but it'll be slidey and you just got to be very careful coming down. <laughs> I'm hoping the wind will block up my breathing, but it's the bridge from this angle. We're just down there. It's going to be warm when we get into the sun now. I'm going to have to take my jacket off. Oh no. No bubby boy. <coughs> Pause to read. It's 
little bit of armor, it's not over there. The waves can put these rocks in there. Yeah, maximum when it comes to movements on them. That is as flat as a fucking pond. <laughs> Magical. A little wee bit. So a broken tree. <laughs> this is where I imagine fairies would live. Hundred percent. Like a little bit of water, a little bit of green. A little bit of not a green. A lot of it. <clears throat> we got a steep and climb now. Looks like she's walking to heaven. It's just the sun's right there. <laughs> Can't really see, but yeah. Wish I had a spirit level to show you this incline. Camera's doing no justice, but. It doesn't at all, does it? No, it just looks like a straight path. <laughs> yeah, she's a beauty. Yeah, the road car's in the woods there somewhere. So, how did he get there? How well, did he get there? Down there a bit, but like, look, it's just literally all fields. Yeah. Well, we've even gone up to the church, haven't we? Yeah. And there's no drive. Oh, road after that church. Oh, the zoom is working. Is there another one of the crosses here? Oh, yeah. Celtic cross. Wow, that's some zoom. I don't know, are they all called Celtic crosses or is it just. There's got to be a certain age to be Celtic. Oh, I guess they all are. Stone Inn. One of the best shops. Toy Museum and Collectors. Got some dragons, some crystals, some tarot cards. That is wicked. Oh my god. Right, <coughs> we'll just go somewhere else then. Oh, there's one shop window, one window right now, we're not shopping. Got ice cream for dogs there. That's our lives, by the way, people. We can go to the supermarket and find one thing we'll look at, but no one else looks like And then two people come over. <laughs> this is Tom's run of the day. Enjoy. Got a food shop. And pottery. There's that really cool shop up here. Yeah. So fucking awesome. They've got like swords and proper armor and shit. <laughs> Viking shit. Just gonna have a look in the window. Yeah, this is one of Tom's favourite shops. Obviously, understandably why. Look past our reflections, you can see. Oh, she's cool. A juicer or something. Fucking amazing. He is really fucking cool. I like all of that. It's I like Lucy in the back. Lucy in the starry diamond. Yeah, I got like a Thor's helmet. <laughs> Some boots. What's in that window? Ooh, this is what I want to get. Something to hold, like that dragon. That pen holder. <laughs> <laughs> your pen, your majesty. That's a pen as well, that sword. Yeah. They're all like letter opener. Letter, yeah. Letter opener, yeah. Holders as well. Oh. Nice. It's like, I like that um, toilet roll holder. It's like <laughs> your button napkins, my lord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> through town. This place before it was always shut and um <laughs> nice little right there, enjoy that. Pause to read. Um it was always shut down and now it's reopened but it's like a posh restaurant. Cute little look out there. And that place and then yeah. Really cool, but now it's like a posh restaurant, which is really annoying. We really loved it as like a pub. Hello. No, shall I try again? <laughs> a bit. Some more stuff. Oh, um, that's the king of the statue. It's not really focused up there. You can actually get like little models of that, which I want to get. Again from the actual shop down there. Oh, I'm out of breath, my dear. Oh, alcohol, of course. Oh, you're not good, aren't you? Yeah. Good, you'll go sleep in the car then. Lancelot, Coconut Paradise. Lancelot of Blue Water Gin. 
Oh. We'll have to come back and get some of those. They sound like really cool like Christmas presents, don't they? Is it in that shop down so the road? So pull up for it. Oh, what? They sell that in there as well, just like on the, the nice liquor, like with that rock gin stuff. Oh yeah. That's really cool. It's a bit bougie, isn't it? It's a banana blast. Ooh. When you come to Tintagel, you have to go in there, which is the old post office. We'll cross over and get a bit closer. I thought there'd be a better angle, but to be honest, we'll be able to see it. That's where we were last night. Yeah, can you hang back a sec? Thank you. Do. Yeah, so this. Such a cool old building. I absolutely love it. Look how wonky it is. Medieval poor house. So. <laughs> 1380. Fucking hell. It's hella old. Definitely worth to come see. Um, and then, yeah, that's the pub that we went in last night with Shelby, and he was such a good boy. He was. And then uh, we carry on up here, up the street. It's like we are just heading towards the light. Oh, wow. These are two really cool shops. Well, that one I think is a new one. I haven't been in that one yet, but this one sells all crystals and stuff. This is just a shop window tour now. Oh, that butterfly out of crystal is cool. Yeah, these pretties. Little wind chime things. Let's see glass. Oh, yes. Those black candles look amazing. I don't know if you can see them very well. The reflection. Look at that. Oh, you can't see it. I don't know which angle to go at so you can see it better. Oh, there we go. It's like a merry-go-round horse with a skeleton on it. All spooky. That is so nice. Damn it. Open at 11, we're going to be gone by then. Yeah. Damn it. That was like right on my street. We're a busy itinerary. Yep. Got filmed three videos today. This is one of three. And in here, some fish. There are no fish. <coughs> Shop yeah. See the fish? And then we haven't eaten yet. <laughs> Shelby's got to see the fish. Oh, I just spat on him. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a shop up here that we need to go in because we haven't had breakfast yeah, yet, so... Well, you go first and I'll wait. Okay. Do you want the camera then? Just left Tom to eat. Walk up here. Look at all these birds. Just show you this as well. Which is... You know, there's great holes. That was fitting. Yeah. You can get married in there. Sometimes it's open. You can go in. Have a little wonder. A little bit of information. Yeah. And this old building. So we're coming uh, back down this way. For like Tintagels, but definitely. Oh, you can see me shadow. Bye. Um, got the best sort of shops is like right up my street for the shops that they have. It's all like skulls and witchy stuff and crystals and pasties. <laughs> Confectionery. And then down here, I can't remember what, I'm pretty sure it was an antiques but I'm not too sure because they've got like new stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah, so they've got like He's creepy. He got the old teddies. Oh, Sailor, what's his name? The original Disney. <coughs> Little Bambi, and then this is what I saw. I would love. Look at him, massive T.Y. pumpkin. Squishy beanies, so I'm guessing they're the same as squish models. Yeah, I want them. And then you got these old green one. Oh, ladies, I suppose. And this is another really cool shop. Willow Moon. Massive dragon's head. Oh, she's cool. Tree lady. Curiosity shop. Whoa, that is well funky. Mm, cool jewelry. Not old, but jewelry. Hey, there's Arthur. Cute. 
building as well. Look at that. Such a nice hotel. Tom was playing that piano last night. Look at that rocking chair, it's huge. Just so nice. Go up the stairs now. And wait for the out of breath bus. <laughs> so yeah, that was a little walk around in Tajo. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Um, but what I was going to say was when we stayed here before with Tamsin, um, there was actually a little spookiness that went on. Uh, we had a massive family room, obviously because it was three of us in a room. And in the night, Tamsin's leg got grabbed by something, as if it was going to like pull her out of the bottom of the bed. Which is spooky. And before we went to, um, I think we told the story before. Probably. Um, before we went out on the town for some drinks. Um, obviously I got ready, I put my makeup in the order that I get ready, so it's all neatly laid out on the dressing table. And um, we were all just in the bedroom, weren't we? I can't remember if we provoked it or anything, no did we? I know, I know, all I know is that something swiped all of the makeup brushes. Literally, it was as if someone like whacked the table really hard because it all just dispersed. Yeah. It was really fucking weird, wasn't it? That was a weird room. It was. I know, like, at the back end, wasn't it? Well, yeah, I was looking out over the sea, so, but nothing spooky happened last night. No, just... But a really cool place to stay. It's fucking amazing that. Yeah, Follow and it's like affordable as well. Really good. But yeah, we're off to the next location now to film my next video. So uh, thank you for watching. And we'll leave some information down below about this video, basically. Just about anything, actually. About anything. Just what you want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.